in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, Let there be light. <coughs> and there was light, and God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness, and God called the light day, and the darkness called he night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. And let it divide the waters from the waters. So God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. And the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven, and let them divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. So God created two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser to rule the night. He made the stars also, and God set them in the firmament to give light upon the earth, and to divide the day from the night, to rule over the darkness and the light. And God said, it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life, and the winged fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of the air. And God made great whales, and every thing that moveth which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the waters and the seas, and let the, water, let, let the fowl multiply in the earth. And God saw that it was good. In the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, the cattle and creeping thing and beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and every creeping thing that moveth along the earth after his kind. And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish in the sea, and the fowl in the air, and over the cattle, and over every all the earth, and over everything that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them, saying unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, <coughs> and replenish the earth, and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and the fowl of the air, and over everything that creepeth along the ground. And God said, Behold, I give you every green herb which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in which the fruit of a tree bearing seed, to you it shall be for meat, and to every beast of the earth, and every fowl of the sky, and every creeping thing that creepeth along the ground, I give every green herb for meat. I give you every plant-bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it. To you they shall be for food. And to every beast of the earth and every bird in the sky and every creeping thing that move along the ground with the breath of life in it, I give every green herb for meat. 
But you must not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die. And God saw everything that he had made. And behold, it was very good. In the evening and the morning were the sixth day. And on the seventh day, God ended all his work which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made.
Why sleepest thou, Eve? No, it is the pleasant time. The cool, the silent, save where silence yields the night warbling bird that now awake to sweetest his love labored song. Full orb reigns the moon, and with more pleasing light, shadowy sets off the face of things in vain. If none regard, heaven wakes with all his eyes, whom to behold but thee, nature's desire, in whose sight all things joy to gaze, with ravishment attracted by thy beauty, with fruit surcharged, deigns none to ease thy load, or taste thy sweet, nor God, nor man, is knowledge so despised? or envy, or what reserve forbids to taste, forbid who will. None shall from me withhold longer thy offered good. Why else set here? Oh, fair plant, fruit divine, sweet of thyself, much more sweet thus cropped, forbidden here, as seems only fit for gods. Yet able to make gods of men, and why not gods of men? Since good, the more communicated, more abundant grows. The author not impaired, but honored more. Here, happy creature, fair angelic Eve, partake thou also. Happy though thou art, happier thou mayst be. Worthier. Canst not be. Taste this, and be henceforth among the gods, thyself a goddess, not to earth confined, but sometimes in the air, as we sometimes ascend to heaven and see what life the gods live there, and such live thou. through sunlight green, finding flowers, flying fast. I had a dream last night. I, I wish that I dreamed of you, or yesterday, or tomorrow, but instead I dreamed of horrible things, things I had never seen or heard or felt. A, a voice whispered to me in the dark, telling me to walk. I thought it was you, so I went along and I looked for you. I walked alone, and, and I found myself under the tree, the tree of knowledge. The moonlit garden made daylight pale, and as I looked, I saw an angel. His hair smelled sweet, ambrosial. He looked at the tree, and without apprehension, reaching his long, lingering fingers, he plucked from the tree and ate. He wrapped me up, pulling me to his waist, and he pressed the fruit to my lips, where his lips had lain. 